Hi, hello, how are you? My name is Nick, aka Loaded Wombat, and you are here to add a face tracking zoom effect to your stream. Maybe you're not. Maybe you just saw my face and you're like, damn, I want to click on that. Probably not. <laughs> But this is something that I found within the OBS plugins. From time to time, I go through there and search around and see what's going on with the, you know, the new OBS plugins. And I found this one. I actually really like this because a lot of people, they have a zoom effect on their stream. But, you know, it kind of zooms in. They got to lean into the camera frame and whatever. This one is a lot different than that. And it actually tracks your face as you're going. I've actually connected this to my channel points, which makes it a lot of fun for people to hit that. And then it does it. So I'll show you guys how I set this up and how I got it onto my stream. It's really easy. Uh, just a couple steps. Well, the first thing that you're going to do is go into my description down below. You're going to click on that link. That'll send you over to the face tracker, you know, OBS page thing. Cool. All right. So once you're over here, you're going to see this. You're going to go to download. You're going to get here. You're going to scroll all the way down. You're going to want to go to the Windows installer right here. You click that, open this, and install it. Okay. You'll hit more info and then install the Windows face tracker. I'm not going to install because I already have it installed. And then you'll open up your OBS and here's what you're going to see. You'll you'll go in here and what you'll see is on, on a particular uh, video source. You can go filters. And then you can go add face tracker. Boom. Add. Okay. Oh. And then my face is going to now be tracked. I don't know how crazy this looks on the screen right now because I have my preview hidden, but whoa, dude, that's kind of crazy. Uh, you can do a whole bunch of different, you know, edits on your face tracking stuff if you want. Um, and I'll let you guys kind of deal with that, but yeah. This is basically it. I honestly left it on default because I felt like it, it zoomed in a lot and I kind of liked that. But if you actually wanted to just follow you while you're talking or something, uh, you might want to do a little less, you know, zoom and stuff. But cool beans. So that's how I, I set up my my face tracking onto my camera and all that kind of stuff. And now this is how I set it up to be activated from my channel points on my channel through Leorn board. If you don't know how to like set up Leorn board and all that kind of stuff, I have a video on that. I'm not going to go through that today, but you guys can click the, the, the thingy in the corner if you want to learn how to do that. But I'm just going to show you how I set it up inside my Leorn board. Okay, please don't judge me, but th it, this is really messy, okay? This is Nick's big deck here. Um, we got a lot of stuff in here. <laughs> but it's this one right here. Don't ask me how I know that, I just do. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to edit commands here. Uh, you're gonna see that what I did is I put the filter change visibility. So I'll just kinda show you guys how I did this. So I went plus, and then you go over here, and then you're gonna go down to filter change visibility. You'll see the source name, you can actually type these in. So I just put Nick cam, boom. And then I put face tracker, boom. Okay. Now what you need to do in order to like have these work is you've got to put the first one is true. And then however long you want it to be delayed, you're going to do another one just like it, but put false and then delay the false, like 10,000 milliseconds is what I did. Um, what, however long you want it to last when somebody presses like the, the channel point. For it um so this last 10,000 milliseconds and and then it turns off because this one goes off and then it turns it off cool then after you've set up that command you're going to need to put in a uh like redeem like like a channel point so it, it triggers from the channel point right so go and create a channel point redemption on your channel make sure you remember exactly how you typed that in so you'll go after you've created that, you'll just go point redeem, boom, and then you'll type in whatever point redeem it is. Should be pretty, uh, pretty simple once you've already understand Leorn board. But if you don't, again, if you don't understand Leorn board, make sure you guys go and watch that other video of mine uh, where I explain it. So thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. We got more videos coming out like this for you, and we'll see you soon.